for me again? Well, Flint Sabor, welcome hey. back. How are you? Good to see you, uh, Mr. Peck. Thanks for uh, for being here on the, a new pilot for a new sub series on the Critical Combat Considerations channel. We're over here, going down now, and we're here for a uh, the Dedica is on the road, and we're doing a dial-in battle with the Sage. The Sage, how is its full name? Barista Express. Wow, we get we get to see if the budget option has any chance against. The Barista Express. I mean, it has it has a big name to live up to. Yeah, but it, there's no there's no comparison. This is a quality machine. <laughs> <laughs> that that is definitely the theory. Let's start with uh, what water do you use? Well, today we're using Shad Fountain, <laughs> or in French, Chaufontaine. Voila. And it's a glass bottle of water, so we're gonna to add that in there and. and uh, well, it's, 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 well, that's what we'll try for this one. I don't know, the pH balance is probably uh, 7.2. <laughs> could, could well be. And for the beans, so I roasted you the pack of Brazil. Yes. And um, I went for the cinnamon profile on the Genie Cafe. Oh. And so it, it, I think it, it should be lighter than this. Um, it might have something to do with it that I did a five-minute preheat mm -hmm. um, You killed my beans, man. I killed them. But it's it's still early phases. So it's still uh, It's quite light, right? Yeah, it's uh, That's nice. They're, they're small beans But I have uh, yes, I, I have no clue how they taste like so uh, yeah. that's we're going yeah. to find out So nice see. the concept of the dial-in battle is you get to dial it in on your machine first. Okay. Right, and we're, gonna, we're adding the beans. These are from where? These are from uh, Brazil. Oh, Brazilian. Brazilian, Brazilian beans. Uh, medium cinnamon roasted, apparently. Uh, coffee, so we're going to pour those in now. There we go. Voila. And uh, I suppose you're using my beans for your... Uh... I'm using your grinder. It's, we're, we're following your recipe. <laughs> oh, you're using my beans. Uh, wait a minute, I'm paying for these beans. No, I no, want it's... a reduction. Well, no, it's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, put it's, your beans in there. It's some critical coffee consideration. <laughs> yeah, something, um, to, something to consider. <laughs> I'm being critical because I'm paying for the beans for this episode. All right, sponsoring. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, Thanks sponsoring. for, oh, for yes. sponsoring. <laughs> Or adding in my water. I'm not going pee. I'm just adding my water. Maybe I'm going pee, but you don't know. Save some for the dedica. Well, I gotta pay for your water too. Look, well, it's this, is, man, this is crazy. I mean, he comes over, does his show. I gotta pay for the beans and the water. And the water. <laughs> and the electricity, mind you. I which guess. Is, which is more than the coffee, the coffee machine, and the water combined. I guess that signs. We, yes. we, we try to get all factors as as equal as possible. Okay, we're factoring in everything. So I'm using uh, this, and he's using this. I wonder if this well, fits. This should be good, shouldn't we're it? We're going to see. It's going to depend because first I need to know how much grams you uh -huh. end up doing in your little thingy. So we'll we'll do a little tear on this. Okay, let's tear it up, man. Let's tear it up. We're tearing it up. Ooh, and ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. Well, so what are we doing? So, uh, in theory, now you're doing the dial-in, which, which means that you would... Dial-in like the old phones? <laughs> yeah, you would dial-in uh, your espresso. Oh, I'm dialing in my espresso. So, espresso mode? Espresso mode, yes. Okay, first we have to heat up the, uh, the machine. Oh, it's ready. Since it's a superior machine. Okay, and then we just, uh, this is cool because we just push the button. Now what I do is I push the button and I shake it so the grounds get settled. Otherwise they kind of flip over the top. From the very end, that, that's a, a cool way of starting it. Alright, now. Let's look. try and measure them. Can you put Oops. them on the... Uh... Oh, yeah. I lost a couple in the, in the movement. Uh, it's, it's to get a bearing. So we're about eight grams. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. It's 
smells a little soury. But eight pounds, that's good. Then I can I can so keep can my, I use this my tamper. Is this how this works? What's it well, a, what's well, between this tamper and this tamper? That's a question. This is very light. It's only uh, how many? Oh, you got to use your coffee. Well, first. we have to tear it first. Let's have a comparison. Yes. Yeah, so the tamper there that you got stuck with the machine, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. eighty three. I had to invest a little bit more. So mine is two hundred and eighty six. Yeah. Grams of metal, I guess. That's uh, oh wow. Of course, so. you get a very plasticky stock tamper with the Dedica. So That's... what do you do? Just plop it on? Are you supposed to twist it or but one direction? We have to see. Uh, They're kind of you. You could, if you want to, you can explore yeah. it. Okay. There so might... so what do you do? You turn it back and but, forth. And, or just and I one actually direction? have this distribution tool also. So if you want, oh, okay. you can Ooh. you can now. Um, Distribution tool. Distribute it a bit like this. Okay. And now give it a tamp. Oh, so what does that do actually? Well, that just gives you uh, a flat and an even bet, oh, okay. which as you're pressuring so, now so, on it. So how hard are you supposed to push this down normally? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they would say 32 kilos. So how am I supposed to know what that is? <laughs> I have no clue. No, I don't know. They, they're like, like, <laughs> they're just so. Thirty-two so, kilos. All right, the, the, I'm gonna push thirty-two kilos. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's thirty-two kilos. I guess you. You. One direction. Do you go? E -e 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 or one direction. Just one direction. Oh. I would say, like, just down, not not in a circle. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh no no twisting no turning just down. Yeah, just down. Okay. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. And uh, let's see what kind of coffee you get out of it now. Okay, so you want to use a clear glass or you want to use this one? You can use the clear glass, this might be better. Okay. Oops, I just turned off the machine. Oh, I, but are you already running it? No. I, I, you accidentally turned it off. In the meantime, I can already actually scoop in here and fill it up. That's that's just about right. Okay. Well, I'll try to. We can, we can synchronize. We can synchronize the show. Synchronize coffee. Ooh. Okay. And now, of course. Oh, I was almost using those there. <laughs> that would be a bit too big, I think. It works in one one way, but that shouldn't work, of course, because it's yeah. just a tiny amount bigger. Yeah. Okay, so I'm ready. You're ready. On your marks. Um, are they exactly the same weight, the cups? Yeah. Let's do yeah, a small. They are. They are. They are they so are. we can do an exact comparison, actually. <laughs> it's just, okay. That's it's zero, zero zero. It's zeroed out. So, on my mark or your mark. All right. Three, mark, two, two, one, one. go. <laughs> so quite curious. It's oh. going. It's going reasonably. It's spitting around. Um, a it's bit. Uh, it's getting into a mess. So a uh, bitty, a bitty. I I should already. I got to fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Why so long? Um. Why so long? Normally you would try to aim for twenty-five seconds. Oh, mine does that. Yours does that. Mm -hmm. I was twenty-five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see the difference. Mm -hmm. It's it's um. It's actually fascinating. Uh, did you see up to what pressure yours went? Nope. You didn't. Oh, should we do it again? <laughs> uh, no, but we'll, we'll we have... We can do it again. We'll, no, we'll have a second experiment because, of course, I'm... Uh, it's this way I get to have a taste of both. Mm -hmm. I mean, yours should be a lot better. So you yeah. get to... Okay. That was yours. Mine should be very sour, sour. Very, yeah, I mean, there's no taste in this. Um, what I don't get is... So what should I set the machine or the pressure? I would, I would think I have to go for a much um finer ground though it, it was getting very messy yeah um oh, what do i have 
opposite items than number six. So finer would be, yeah, up more. So you can go a lot finer. Yeah, you can go a lot finer. Okay. But the reason we did that because sometimes my pressure would stay low if I had too fine of a ground. Yeah, in any case, at this point, your machine is definitely winning. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying that, that my my pour is too short, but that's an espresso no, no, pour. No, it's not too short. Oh. Yours was definitely better than mine. I mean, oh. it was just gushing out of me here. So I, don't, okay. <laughs> I don't know what what was going on. But right. so let's uh, be in the video. Hi. All right. Let's try and uh, and show how okay, you. Okay. So how I you have this on six. I'm gonna make sure I put it back because. Uh, so what do you want to go to like twelve? So now you, we were at about six. About six, and we go in the direction of finer. So oh, then we would like, actually we go, go lower. Yeah, we go lower. So let's yeah, let's do three. Let's, three. Okay. Sounds good. All right, we're doing three. So from six to three. Okay. So now again, we'll weigh how much coffee is actually in there. Oh, okay. Because this will influence. Uh, We can actually wait with this one because we didn't we didn't no. tore it. Oh. So there we go. In the meantime, what what did you think about the taste of the beans? Uh, uh, nice, but a bit sour. It's still a bit sour. Hmm. No, actually, tangy. Not sour. Tangy. Tangy. That that might now change. Or uh, here, the sour notes. I'm measuring 9.5 grams. Okay. Don't know why it's usually, but we're not going to figure it out this way unless you know the oh yeah the, the, the weight, weight of the port of it port. was 145. But so this is nine. It's getting nine now. Is that because it's finer? Yeah. Well, usually you would expect uh, as you're going finer, you would ha you would have less weight because the grinder would be working more to process the beans. Mm -hmm. So for a set amount of time, it, it would give you less grams of coffee, uh, which is remarkable here that we're getting more coffee out of it. Oh. All right. Okay. I'm I'm giving it everything now because I don't want I, I don't want the, the disaster <laughs> that that just happens. All right. So we're gonna push down a little bit harder. Okay. Okay, I'll quickly give these a rinse. Yep. Mirror. Between. Okay, let's start again. Hopefully the second round is more interesting than the first. Are you ready? You want to do the countdown? I have water in my glass. Ah, it's just... Okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. Yours sounds like a like a it, airplane when the it, engine it, gives out. Oh, that's better. It's getting better, and a lot of oh, a lot happens? of a lot of. Uh, what of course, why did it go all splash? Of course, I, you know, I, I, I was afraid of using too much of your water. Oh, okay. So gotcha. I, <laughs> I got, I yeah. got there. I, yeah. I actually so missed. Is this correct? The amount is that right? I mean. Let's let's have a wait now. The, I mean, what we're seeing is uh, so I'm having here 26 gram, 20, 25.3. So that that's actually a very nice espresso amount. Of course, now 70, 18 or 18. Now we don't know whether that is because of um, how to say. Is this because? That's the factory setting. Oh, we didn't watch the pressure. Again. Oh, here. You yeah, some coffee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. But that's that's fine. That's fine. I'll have a, I have the taste like this. Okay. Mm. That was mine, I think, right? Yeah. That's that's getting a nice. Yeah, it's tangy. It's not so. Actually, less tangy. It's nicer. I I would say that the Dedeka won this this round. Yeah, that's more. Um, Sour, acidy. 
Acidy, yeah. Hmm. So we are moving in the right direction grind-wise for the Dedica. Mm -hmm. Of course, the sizes of the porter filters are slightly different, different. So it makes sense that you will get less of a quantity now. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Let's let's try and figure it out. No, it doesn't. You would always expect to get more liquid out of the bigger surface because yeah, that's the, the, the depth presets the, uh, preset of the machine maybe of course there is an important difference in uh, and we can we can share this oh we're getting a oh, stuck you got, you got clumpy we get we got, got a clumpy let's uh let's have a small um let's have a close-up where is it going okay underneath well, difficult to see, but uh, there it's hanging. So now, how to get it loose? Oh, uh, so yeah. this is this is can of course still well, be there hot. There, there, we got it out. Oh, I know you see, but it wasn't a fair comparison because the water ran out. So yeah. the stream was Don't going be careful nice. Careful the water by the electrical. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not get a, a short circuit. Um. So the difference is, we can share this. You can see mine has a flat bottom, whereas yours. No, no, because is, this is, uh, we have different things here. Well, yeah, it's really restricting it at the end. No, but this is actually for, um, show this, it, is, a show it to this the is a double. Yes. That's a double, see, and this is a single. And these are for pre-ground copies. These are co coffees which are uh, the, those are the already on, the over pressurized the pressurized over, baskets. Yeah, pressurized yes. baskets. Yeah, so Generally, we advise against using yes. them to get to real espresso flavors. So this would be a, a double here. So so we're, we're at high now. You you okay. saw where things were going. Do we mm. want to go finer with with the grinds? Can we can? Well, what would that? But that's in your favor. That's then. in my favor then, unless you change the baskets. Oh, you mean like what the basket? Oh, okay. You could try and do the double basket, even though we're doing only a single shot. Might be an interesting experiment, and then we really don't know who will win the third and final round. So this is basically giving more volume or space? This is restricting the space. So it's making it more difficult for the coffee to go through. Ah, oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, this, this is... Uh, yeah, we're going to destroy them, so... You, you, you don't often uh, change them, I guess. Not too much. Okay. All right, so now... But the experiment is... It's, it's already interesting to see, even with this cheap machine. Yeah. I mean, yours will be better to get a better taste. Of course, it needs to be within the same. Well, I think it's the functionality of the device too. It's it's a it's a cool machine because look at the look at the steamer here. I mean, it's got a lot of options. And plus, so we didn't watch the pressure. We didn't. Maybe well, watch the pressure. Do it. It's fine. So I'm gonna use a double basket. And I have to push the double key. But what about, oh, I have to change the filter size, see, so I can go to double, see? Oh, 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 but. <laughs> yeah. But we're, we're, we're staying on the same rate, right? Oh, really? Oh, you want, oh no, you want to go to the double rate? Okay. But the, but the, the oh, you, you're saying keep it on the grind amount or single? And use um, a bigger basket. It's, I would say use a bigger basket so that Apparently the grind is already so fine that yeah. it's having trouble with that layout of the of the other basket, I think. Okay, so we're doing a double basket. Single shot. Single shot. Which is some espresso purists are very much against this, but um, it's it's for science sake. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use your tamper. 
Oh no, I'm gonna use this thing. This thing's really cool. It looks like us. It's kind of heavy. Weight equals value. Okay, so oh wait, I gotta tamp it first, or just use this thing first? I will. Well, in your case now, because we're we're kind of very. I will just already distribute a little bit like this. Yeah. We are quite deep, so probably not oh, going to not reach help. reach uh, reach it now. Okay, so we're just gonna drop this one. So you put it on 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 the the the, the first setting, right? The wet setting. The first setting. Yeah, the one single single filter size actually. Although maybe it's not. Maybe maybe, maybe it's you do want to add an, an extra dose to yours. Uh, because it's way down there. I don't know if you're gonna get the pressure. Be because yeah. My my prep is just perfect. I have very very good hopes for what's going to come out now. Okay. Double coffee and and it's also like six thirty at night, so I don't want to be all wired for bedtime. I gotta get up at five in the morning. We're not going to be able to sleep, but yeah, that's just right. just remember we're doing this for science. Yeah, right. <laughs> science. Very, very precise. Yeah, so that. that's not bad actually. Yeah. So we now have a dial-in battle between a double shot and a single shot rating here. It looks like quite nice actually. So let's go with that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm. Are you ready? Let's. Right, we're gonna watch the pressure. This I'm time. finally going to watch the pressure. And I'm, I'm I'm doing a double, so I need a probably a bigger glass. Let me get ready here. Maybe not. Oops. I just Are you ready? It. No, oh, I just took oh. off the machine. Oh, you took. <laughs> Me. Oh, because okay. you're going for the double. All I right. Did, I did wash yours. What is it? Wash. Ah, I did. I did put the other one here. But uh, you're going for the double shots. Oh yeah, we're doing a double. So. <laughs> okay. Oh, you want? Oh, you want the other? We have to compare on the same. I guess. No, it would, no, it's, it's okay. It's yes. okay. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Pulling center. So this is really the cool feature oh, missing. Some pressure coming. It Reading. could be that that yours is just totally oh, straight. Here. Oh. It, oh wow, what's happening? Um, I, I, I maybe you want to shut it down. Maybe you want to shut it down before. <laughs> what uh, happened? Or or is your water out? Or? Oh, my water's out. <laughs> Where do you need the water? Here's the the show from oh, here. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, no. But but at least look at this. Fabulous! Fabulous looking shot! So what happens now? My coffee's all messed up or what? Could I, be. I guess we just have to see what... Because there was no pressure hmm. buildup, right? Yeah, yeah. So here we go. So now it should be okay. I'll let it cool down and... Let's watch the pressure. We should... We should see some, something moving. There it is. There it's building up. It is. Right and in the middle. And we do see exactly in the middle. So that's a really good. So pressure. how how much how much is that? Can you read it off? Uh, there. A little bit fat past. It's up to there. I don't know what that is actually. I don't know if it's a uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. I don't know. What is it normally? Uh, um, so the ideal pressure for an espresso will be nine bars. That, oh, okay. That's One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight showing. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, it was in the espresso range. So. So we have two big quantities of coffee now. Let's uh, share and get. It looks pretty even in the color, though. Yeah. Let's get caffeinated. How's your your foam is nicer. My phone was quite nice. Um, I'll take some of this here. Okay, so to decide who wins this battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this yours? That's mine. It doesn't have a lot of flavor though. Very weak. Very weak, yeah. It. Maybe because of the. the too much water this time. <laughs> too much water. And then let's see this one. Yours yeah. actually does have 
a nicer taste. So the Sage Barista Express wins this very scientifically rigid battle. Yeah. A lot of var variability in the factors, but it is a nice machine. Hooray to the Sage yes. Barista Express. Who, who yeah. advised you on the... Uh, well, a uh, coffee expert, uh, coffee considerations, actually uh, critical coffee considerations, were the ones who advised on the Barista Sage Express. Uh, valued at over 500 euros, but it is a good investment. So if you need any consultancy on coffee, let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Flynn. Thanks for Always having me. Always enjoy of making these videos with you. See you next time.